Hey everybody, how we doing today? So I got shirts. Well, sort of. But I'm in stock of everything else. So let's kind of go through everything and I'll kind of do everything in uh, priority here, order here. First, shirt run. Okay, Coconut Ink gave me notice that because they're gonna be on vacation in two weeks, my next run of shirts won't be until three weeks. So if you're interested in any of these shirts I'm talking about, get them early because my replenishment is not going to be for three weeks, which is going to be rough. All right. So number one shirt most likely interested in is the grand opening $20 tarpon shirt. We had a foobar there. One of my new shirts that we're just doing, designing and producing caused a huge production problem and threw everything off. So at the moment, I've only got large, extra large, 2XL in the gray with the forest green ink tarpon shirt. All right. uh, the balance of the shirts are all done except for the, the tarpon head because that has to be manually done. So it's sitting over at Coconut Ink and they won't have those ready until Tuesday. So that $20 special shirt, I'll have the complete order on Tuesday. All right. As well as a bunch of uh, other new uh, designs that I got held up as well. But what we have in stock now, okay, I've got two new designs. One that I'm wearing right here, all right. Uh, this one is a pilchard design, okay. It's another one of the front logo only, nothing on the back. Uh, this is a 100% polyester shirt. Uh, it's made by A4 is the company. Uh, the second one is the Ballyhoo, okay. All about the bait Ballyhoo. Uh, this is a new company that I'm using. Um, it's called Port & Company. This is a 50-50 cotton polyester blend showing the uh, Ballyhoo logo, plain, just front only. So I've got those. Now, the reason I went to that new Port & Company is because I'm including 4XL, 5XL, and uh, up to one of them that has even a 6XL. They're the only shirt that I was able to find in a reasonable price, so I'm kind of using them for subsidizing the rest of my designs. So outside of those two new designs, I also beefed up my regular orders of some of my popular ones. So the blue crab in the navy blue, uh, the light blue uh, shirt with the uh, navy blue blue crab is another one, and then the uh, graphite with the mullet. So I got a bunch of those back in order. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, the larger sizes. Well, let's talk about pricing. All right. I changed the pricing structure. All right. So as you'll notice before I had a flat $23 across the board. Well, it wasn't sustainable now that I'm adding these plus sizes. So the way it worked is small, medium, large, extra large in standard industry standards is all the same pricing. So small to extra large, it's one price. Once you go from extra large to, uh, let's say 2XL, there's going to be a price jump. And then 2XL to 3XL jump, 4XL, so on. All right, so basically what I did is I took that $23 price point, looked at my invoice, whatever the price increase between a XL and a 2XL, that's what I added to the price. So when you start looking through the pricing of these shirts, you're gonna see when you go to the 2XL and higher, you click on it, it's gonna have some weird price like $24.12 or $26.28 or just weird, weird numbers. It's because I just went 100% just the price difference. I added to my prior cost and that's where it's at. So I'm not making any extra money, it's just I'm not losing money by adding these extra sizes to the, the the ballpark there because uh, I just couldn't have selling a 6L shirt for the same price as a small shirt and eating all that price difference. So that's all I did there. Now let's go to the um, uh, discontinued list. So I'm going to discontinue some shirts as well so I can keep bringing in new ones. So the green um, and the red in the squid are going to be discontinued as well as the white shirt with the mullet. I'm not increasing the pricing on those on the larger sizes, so they're all still flat the same prices, but once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, just the same as I have a couple of shirts that are just 3XL only, it says, one in a black and one in a white. I had a, a royal blue, but that sold out. 
Those shirts are another one. Once those are gone, they're gone. I'm not raising the prices. They're just going to sell and be done. And I'll take that revenue and put it into new designs. So that is current shirts. Now on the uh, May 1st, Tuesday, okay, not only will I have the big load of the, the grand opening tarpon shirts, I've got two new tarpon uh, design shirts that I'm coming out that are going to be more um, with new designs, plus I'll have a different textured shirts on those. Those won't be the $20 specials. They're going to be more regular priced. Um, and as well as I have this new shirt, this is the new uh, design by Jeff shirt. And this is the one I was going to release today, but we had the production problems on it. So what this one is, is a all about the bait chum design, okay? And in the logo, it's if you chum, they will come. Then it's got particles of the ch uh, chum dissolving into the water. It's got a fishing line going through, and then you've got some little uh, baby yellowtails coming up, feeding up the chum line. If you follow the line around to the front of the shirt, and bam, okay, you got the line coming across with the chum, and then you've got a uh, yellowtail jig head with a chunk of uh, ballyhoo, and then you've got some flagged yellowtails ready to come up as the predator sh fish for the chum. Now this is a gold mine for a Keys and South Florida type shirt. It's a specialty shirt. If you've ever come fishing in the Florida Keys especially, I'm almost positive that you've been involved with the chum and yellowtails. It's just such a, the, it's the bread and butter fishery of the Keys there. So I've got that in a 100% um, polyester blue. And then I've got a 50-50 cotton polyester blend. Same design, just the different colorations. If you chum, they will come. Running around to the front. Boom. And we've got those from small all the way up to 5XL. And that was part of the problem. It ended up, uh, for the larger sizes, coming out to nine silk screen plates to do the one shirt all right so that's nine individual manual it wasn't on the machine he had to manually print all of these uh plates in order to do one shirt and that was time consuming it basically meant that they had to pull the main production person off their main machine to manually sit there and try to piece together this artwork and it took him seven hours and he was only able to produce 52 shirts all right so seven hours of him just hand printing these shirts versus standing in front of the machine and boom, one done, next done, next, next, next. And that offset just wasn't there. Um, it, it got to the point where they couldn't even spend any more time even investing in this because they were losing so much money. The cost for a nine screen shirt is astronomical and I just couldn't sell it. And it is what it's coming down to. So those 42 other ones, which are three quarters of the way printed, we might just end up just chunking it because it's not worth it for them to print it and it's not worth it for me to try to sell it. So I might try to do something to, to make it manageable and be able to sell it off at cost. But yeah, we got to come up with a new production or redesign it so that the production is there. So Jeff might take a look at it and try to fix something. I just love that design. So I don't want to stop. It's just, I think it'll go so well for people that visit the keys that I don't want to get rid of it. So that's the shirts. Now that's moving on to my other stuff, non-shirt stuff. And I'm happy to say I'm finally in stock of that stuff. This stuff I've been out of stock since my soft opening. So let's start with the uh, fishing face mask and, or the fishing buffs. All right. I placed a big order that replenished my out of stocks plus replenished the ones I was low on. And because I have to do such a large order, I was able to do eight more designs. They should start being flashing through so you can see them. Add a couple more uh, freshwater ones since those have been very popular in the basses, but I ordered a very beautiful crappie uh, panfish one as well as I think it's a walleye. Um, I also added two shark ones I think will be very popular. Um, I added more of the uh, Mahi Mahi Black tuna ones since those are really good ones. And I've got this new one, which is my new favorite one. It's this, it's got these like anchovy heads in a line, but then they look like they're artistically drawn and it's this bright red color. It's really beautiful. That's my new favorite one there. Uh, hats, I'm finally in stock of all the hats. So I have all four colors in stock. Um, I've got a decent amount. Plus I should have some more orders dropping in every day the next couple of weeks. So that hopefully keeps me in stock. I just need to find a new supplier because it just, 
four to five weeks to get these was just not worth it. I just got to do better than that. Um, soft plastics. Finally got the uh, paddle tills back in stock. The four inch paddle tills, my specialty uh, uh, lure stuff. Um, I've got 2,600. Well, I had 2,600 of them. I'm probably down to uh, 1,700 or so because they've been selling pretty quickly. Uh, so fast that I, instead of just selling the 20 packs, like you could buy 20 silver, 20 gold, or you can do a 10-10 combo like this. I also did a 40 pack. So you can do 40 silver, 40 gold, or 20-20 combo pack. So I've got that as well. Then I've got my 9-inch love uh, mullet here for the mullet run. So I got a case of each of these. So I've got like 300 of these. So I've got the one I've been testing out, which is the... Uh, pearl bottom with the uh, black back and then I've got a all pearl model as well. This one I wanted specifically because it's more of the mullet during the daytime that I wanted and then this one will be a good contrast for the evening and the night. Uh, I'm working a deal where I'm going to get a full black one because I like the full black for the nighttime dark hours as well as they're going to do uh, probably do a custom blend so I'm going to give them my design color and then they're going to kind of produce that for me. That'll be down the road. Also, I'm going to put together a kind of like a DIY kit like I've got for my vertical jigs, but for these uh, paddle tails, so the way the hardware to rig them like I'm using them, I'm going to kind of do as a combination so you can test them out and try them out and see how you like them. Also, if you are using, and I mean you're actually using um, large soft plastics, the 9 inch, 12 inch or whatnot, and you've got an effective way of rigging it. Go to my all about the bait uh, at yahoo.com and uh, send me an email with pictures of how you're rigging it. And I'll maybe include that into my video for how to rig these up or maybe add those into my kit. Now, I don't need people sending, oh, you should try this or I think this will work. No, I want actual, you're using them, big one, big uh, paddle tails with pictures would be good. So I know what we're talking about. All right. And uh, I'll include those as well. And so I think that is it. Shirts, hats, shirts, shirts, yeah. So I'm in stock, so go buy something, all right? Uh, so www.allaboutthebait.com, check it out. Uh, buy some shirts, add on a hat or some neck buffs. Oh, I got stickers as well, so get those stickers as well. And yeah, so good to go. So anyways, if you're needing the tarpon shirts or those new designs, you're interested in those tarpon designs, uh, May 1st. Tuesday and you'll get those but otherwise I'm in stock of everything else. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.